There is this really interesting idea in the Genshin Impact community that you shouldn't be c 6 your Bennett because it hurt your account. Or as most people call it, it ruined your account. Now, if that's what you're thinking, then you need to watch this video because that is actually a mistake. And for the most part, nowadays with today's understanding and video crafting, activating the Constellation 6 on your Bennett is usually an upside. So let me slowly explain. And as always, if you're enjoying the video or this video helps you out, don't forget to subscribe. It is free and it really helped me out with the YouTube algorithm. And let's get started. To understand why this is the case, let's start by taking a look at what Constellation 6 Banner does. There is two major important parts to this constellation. The first part is that any characters within the Elemental Burst, Fantastic Voyage, will gain a 15% higher damage bonus. And this is any characters. Any weapons or even other element, characters like Yomiya or Kaza can both get 15% extra pyro damage bonus. And because you usually would prefer to pair Banner with a separate second pyro characters any Anyway, it just overall help your team do more damage as you can get 15% pyro damage bonus on your other pyro characters. This description is a little wrong. Most people assume that only sword or claymore or poem characters get the pyro damage bonus, but in reality, any character can get it. With that being said, the second part of the constellation is what you would expect, which is it would convert sword or claymore or poem building characters' normal attack to pyro infusion instead of whatever they have. Now that is the reason why generally people say the EC6 Bennett ruined your account because there are characters that doesn't really want the pyro infusion, which I'll slowly explain. But to be honest, with today's Genshin Impact's rosters, most characters either don't care about Constellation 6 Bennett or benefit from it from the 15% power damage bonus. When Genshin Impact first came out during the 1.0 to 1.3 era, most of the players didn't really know what they were doing. And most importantly, just said, we just didn't have a lot of resin to fully invest our entire account. So for the most part, we're playing in a very old concept known as one main DPS and then free support. You will have one kind of invested main DPS doing most of your damage and then you will have three characters purely for the purpose of supporting a main DPS and those characters are generally something like a buffers or elemental enablers. Nowadays that concept is really really old. We're looking at sub DPS and main DPS now or to be a little bit precise what you should be calling them is on field DPS and off field DPS instead. The origin of C6 Bennett was ruining your account actually came from a really really old team comp known as Mel Bennett. In this team comp, you have Bennett and Chongyun as your core pairing and what you would do is you would drop the elemental skill on Chongyun which will allow you to apply cryo on your normal attack and then you use that normal attack to apply cryo and then followed by a Bennett elemental skill to melt. This is the basis of Mel Bennett and at the time it was definitely one of the stronger comp if not the very very top of the meta when Genshin Impact was first released. Of course when Genshin Impact was first launched and player just didn't have resources to invest into many characters. Characters that can just drop their elemental skill and be like an enabler or a support was really preferred. In this case, your Chongyun didn't really need any investment at all. His only real drop here is to apply his elemental skill, which then allow you to do crowd infusion normal attack. So in this case, your entire investment just go into Bennett. Not to mention how broken Bennett was even when he was first launched, especially compared to the original roster of Genshin Impact, which to be honest, now that we look at it are not the greatest. Now, at the time, this is the origin of you don't want to activate Seasick Bennett because Seasick Bennett did ruin the Mel Bennett com. It will infuse your attack with Pyro on your elemental burst, which means that you can no longer do cryo infuse attack with the Chongyun elemental skill. And therefore, the basis of the com where you use Chongyun elemental skill to apply cryo and then use your elemental skill to melt it off doesn't work anymore. So it is true that you don't want to activate Seasick Bennett when you wanted to play Mel Bennett, but as times move on, as we get more more and more knowledge and team composition, the comp of Mel Bennett has slowly disappeared and has been phased out within the Genshin Impact community, but it appeared that the concept of don't activate C6 Bennett because it ruins your account has still been passed on and not disappear along with the comp that it originally came from. Nowadays, as players have much more investment and knowledge to kind of spread out their resources or just have a better idea of what to properly build, character that only apply element and doesn't really do anything else has pretty much been phased out of the Genshin Impact meta. And nowadays, instead of looking at it as main DPS and support, the better concept to use here is on-field DPS as well as off-field DPS. And we're looking at characters like Sang Chou's, characters like Fischl's, Yolan, or even Xiangling. These are really, really strong off-field DPS that 
also accomplish your elemental application at the same time, it's clear that all few DPS are just much more preferred nowadays as they can attack while not being on the field. Nowadays, Bennett is usually draft into a couple major team compositions that really really prefer to use Bennett over other characters. And those team comps are number one, national team, and then reverse melt team, and so on, other team that also kind of want Bennett, like Intergrational. Essentially, there are three type of characters in this game that interact differently with how Bennett Elemental Bursts apply Pyro Infusion onto their attack. There are characters that doesn't have an infusion and therefore their attack will always go Pyro. And those are usually the physical DPS like Razors, Eula, or maybe even Zhongli if you prefer to play him that way. There are then the Type 2 characters, which are characters that have an infusion, but will still go Pyro Infusion if you use them with Bennett. And those are characters like Ayaka, who has a Crowd Infusion, but will go Pyro if you use her with Bennett, or character like Kaching, who has an Electro Infusion, but will once again go Pyro if you use Bennett Elemental Burst with Kaching. And then finally, there's Type 3 characters, which is majority of the Genji Impact characters nowadays. Most of these characters by default come with their infusion that cannot be override. And most characters in Genji Impact nowadays, especially with the new release, usually fall into this category. Since Type 3 characters doesn't get affected by the Pyro Infusion anyhow, as their infusion cannot be override, Bennett Elemental Burst just come down to the 15% pyro damage bonus, which is basically always a upside because you're just doing more damage with no harm. It is really the type 1, maybe even type 2 characters that can potentially get hurt by having C6 Bennett because they might not want pyro infusions, and so let's cover those quickly. Starting off with the type 1 characters, aka the no infusion characters. Those are characters like Eula, Dongli, or Razors, which are characters that doesn't have a way to infuse their weapon with an element at all. Generally speaking, these characters are preferred to be played as a physical DPS, or in other cases, just not as a DPS at all. In this case, because you want to do physical damage, like white numbers, C6 Bandit actually does hurt them if you're doing that because it will convert their physical damage into pyro damage, which is not what you want. For the most part though, most people don't really draft Bennett into these teams since Bennett is just generally much better used somewhere else instead. However, if you are a player who are like a main of these characters, maybe you're like a Razor main and you play in a very specific play styles or team comp that involve Bennett, then your action here would probably be similar, which is you probably don't want to activate C6 Bennett because it does ruin your most active play styles. So feel free to move on. On to the type 2 characters, which are characters that have an infusion but can be override with C6 Bennett. And these characters are Ayaka with her Crow Infusion, or Kaching with her Electro Infusion, and so on. The thing about these characters is that similar to the Type 1 No Infusion characters, you don't really want to use C6 Bennett because it will override your attack with Pyro application and Pyro damage, which ruin your team composition. But the thing about these characters is that because they by default have an element, usually you want to draft them into that specific elemental team. And for Ayaka, that is a Crow free team and for Kaching that's like electro aggravate team. These team comp doesn't really want Bennett to begin with anyway and so usually these characters just doesn't even want Bennett into their team to begin with and therefore C6 Bennett usually is not a concern because these characters just prefer other teammate. And so while C6 Bennett can ruin these compositions you wouldn't really be bring Bennett anyway and therefore for the most part there is no harm. And then of course we move on to type 3 characters which is how majority of the Genshin Impact characters are being developed nowadays and these are characters that have an infusion that cannot be overridden and you know that they cannot be overridden because it specifically say on the text itself for example in here Raiden elemental burst say that it will infuse her charge attack normal attack and plunging attack with electro which cannot be overridden so that's how you would know bringing bennett into this composition in particular the pyro infusion part have absolutely no effect because they cannot be overridden anyway or in the case where your character is a pyro character or your character somehow is doing pyro damage, for example like Kazu with a pyro infused elemental burst, then there is actually a upside on top, which is the 15% pyro damage bonus. In pretty much most scenario, when it comes down to team drafting in Genshin Impact, especially if you're looking to draft some of the more meta team, active 
waiting season's bandit either does no harm to your party or just give you 15% pirate damage bonus. And in the case where it ruined your party, you probably shouldn't have drafted bandit into the team to begin with, no matter if it's C6 or not. And it's only in very specific playstyles and scenario that C6 bandit can actually ruin your playstyles. And if that's you, again, if that's something like physical Eula that you want to play with bandit, then it is true that you might not want to activate C6 bandit. But for the majority of the player out there who appreciate bandit strength, C6 bandit for the most part is nowadays considered to be a good constellation with maybe minor downside, if not no downside. Now, of course, 15% pyro damage bonus is nice, but that's actually not even the best part about C6 Bennett. You see, the thing about C6 Bennett and the greatest part about C6 Bennett is actually the Pyro Infusion itself, which might seem contradicting because we just said most characters in Genshin Impact doesn't even care about the Pyro Infusion. But there are a few characters that particularly prefer the Pyro Infusion. One of these is the king himself, Bennett. C6 Bennett allowed Bennett himself to do Pyro Infused Normal Attack, which is very significant and can increase your overall team damage output by a lot in the right team composition. And those team comp are something like Bennett Reverse Melt, such as Bennett followed by Kaya Rosaria. In this case, you can use Bennett Normal Attack to continuously do Pyro damage and apply Pyro to ensure that you have enough Pyro for both Rosaria and Kaya to melt reaction off. So in this case, C6 Bennett, aside from the 15% Pyro damage bonus, the Pyro Infused itself is actually a huge upside for calm like that. One of the biggest mistakes that most people make nowadays were another different concept that carried away from the original launch of Genshin Impact, which is Bennett is a peer support. His only use cases is to empower your main DPS or on-field DPS with a bunch of attack. And honestly, that is a relatively outdated concept because Bennett himself actually does really, really good amount of damage that you should not underestimate. Specifically, in team comp where his elemental skill is spammed a lot thanks to its low cooldown especially within his elemental burst which further reduces his elemental skill cooldown by a lot if you're like me and you have been addicted to playing overwatch 2 then you should know that support is not just healer and damage buffer support can do damage as well and that is the same thing with bennett calling him a support is a very very underestimated statement when it comes down to bennett Thinking of overwatch by the way i've been playing a lot of overwatch yes i'm super addicted and if you ever want to see me play overwatch you can check it out on my stream where i stream most day on twitch at twitch.tv slash 1010 game and i promise you i'm not skill issue in that game back to the topic on hand what you really should be doing nowadays is to look to build bannon with offensive stat and those are things like critical ray critical damage maybe elemental mastery if you're doing him in a calm where he perform reaction and then of course pyro damage bonus and Team Calm that make this really, really shrine are something like Changling Bennett followed by Yalan Sing Shoes, where you put Bennett on fields to do a bunch of Faith Price along with Changling, as Yalan Sing Shoes can supply enough Hydro for both of these characters to be doing reaction. And of course, activating Seas Bennett allow your normal attack to now be infused with Pyro, which means you can now do Pyro Elemental Attack with your normal attack to trigger even more Faith Price and overall contribute to a significant amount of DPS when it comes to team composition like these. There are definitely other team composition that is not mentioned here that can also take advantage of the Pyro Infusion when it comes down to Bennett Elemental Burst. Maybe something like Pyro Infused Razor in a very specific comp. We're not going to go too deep into other team composition, but the main idea here is just that for the most part, when it comes down to majority of the meta team in Genshin Impact that you strongly prefer to have Bennett in and would prioritize using Bennett over other characters. For the most part, both aspects of the Elemental Burst including the 15% power damage bonus and the power infusion are generally seen as an upside. It can give you a really good amount of DPS. But also the real winner, of course, as most people know, is to get rid of the red dog when it comes down to one of these menu. I don't know. Clearly, I don't get rid of them because I don't care enough. Oh, look at all these free primo gem. Beep, 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 beep. With that being said, I think for majority of the Genshin Impact player, with today's understanding of Bennett and today's understanding of Team Calm in Genshin Impact, activating C6 Bennett is fine and just feel free to do it. As you can see, I have activated the C6 Bennett already. If you're a person in a very specific use case where you want to use Bennett but not the Pyro Infusion, then you can hold off. But for majority of the player, I think it is fine to activate C6 Bennett and the idea of, well, C6 Bennett ruined your account has been a long outdated concept that we really should stop talking about.
I know there are cases where specific people, again, don't want to activate it. Or maybe some people are just extremely paranoid and afraid that this new release team comp in like two years is going to use non seasick Bennett in a very specific way. And I think it's fine to not activate it. But I just think most people would see a upside when it comes down to using Bennett C6, especially in team comp where he's intended to be draft in, especially in team comp where Bennett can appreciate the pyro infusion himself. After all, Bennett appreciates some love as well, and he's truly one of the best characters in the game, so try to give him the best and, well, build him damage. This is the other old concept that carried over that we should start eliminating, which is Bennett is only a healer and a buffer, but the reality is Bennett also do a lot of damage. Hopefully, this sheds some light on if you should be activating Caesar Bennett or not. Um, At the end of the day, you should be evaluating your position and then making the decision yourself. One of the huge reasons why this end up being a video is because it is not a black or white answers aside from the explanation of why that concept is outdated there are definitely use cases where it is good but also not so good so again you should be making the decision yourself and for the most part i'll recommend activating it but it's up to you so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching if this video helped you out or you learned something or two don't forget to like and leave a comment below for the youtube algorithm as always don't forget to subscribe and stuff you guys know it and i'll see you guys all 